Hello, welcome to The Crafty Fox with me, Kirsten, and today I'm going to show you what you can do if you've got loads of these booting around. If you've got a child, my son is uh, 15 months now, as I've said before, and um, we get through a lot of these, and I didn't want to trash them, I wanted to recycle them, so I figured out if you tip them upside down, put a little bit of a slot in there, you've got a money box, you can get the money out from the bottom there, look at that, I haven't even cleaned it on this one, but um, let me show you what you need to do. First thing is to paint it. Now I've used acrylic paint because um, it's quite thick and I've worked out through trial and error it needs three coats to dry each time before you get rid of that writing underneath. And don't forget, if you are going different colours to this blue then it's nice to paint the top and the bottom. And when it comes to the top, because it's plasticky, bit of a tip, put um, PVA glue in the mix with your paint because that makes the paint a little bit more elastic. So once the whole thing is dry you can just play around really with what you want to put on them, experiment a little bit. My inspiration was this birthday card that I got given and I just really liked the animals on it and at this point if you go in, I'll stop you there, I can't draw at all, I can craft but I can't draw. I can't do anything from imagination but I can copy stuff which is where the internet is brilliant. I did a search for cartoon giraffes and if you just look there, there's so much on there. If you can't get inspiration, from that, then um, it's game over. Don't just completely plagiarise something, you can sort of pick bits from what you can see. And I did a sketch of a giraffe, which, make sure, size-wise, is going to fit on your box. So, um, this cunningly, this box is about the size of an A4 piece of paper, so just make sure it sits in nicely. And you, you can actually fit less on than you think you can um, when it comes to it, so you don't need to think about loads of designs. Um, at this point, if you were doing stuff with kids, it's a great point if you just do an outline, then your kids can get involved, colour that in, paint it, whatever. Or if you're doing it yourself, it's one of my favourite things, just effectively colouring in. Um, I painted it and it looks like that. And then I did a lion and you can see, if I bring this one over, you can see what I did. There's the giraffe, the tree and the lion. I've literally only got room for three things on there. And I just brought it to life with this grass here that's stuck on. What I used was some of this lovely foamy stuff that you get in all the craft shops. But a piece of green paper would work just as well, cutting out the fronds, sticking them on there. Um, or if you've got um, one of those sponge cloths in the kitchen, they could work well. Paint one of those up if you want the spongy effect. So once you are ready to add all your bits on, it literally is just a case of, let me just show you one because I can. This is a, a snake that I managed to do. Remember, this is now the bottom. Almost forgot myself, so there you go. Stick that on like that, and stuff just nicely starts to come to life like that. Now, when it comes to making the slot, it is a bit hard, I won't lie to you. What you need to do, I'll show you on this one, is find the centre by getting your ruler and measuring and then do a slot line. Now what I actually did was I got in with a craft knife um, and just sort of did that. Now the problem is <laughs> you need to sort of try and make that slot a little bit wider and your knife can, like it did there, start splaying off. So what I did was I just sort of gently kept hacking away, for want of a better word, <laughs> hacking at it. Um, and once I got a slot size that I was happy with, holding in like that, I cheated a little bit, turned this upside down, and on a piece of green paper, I made a sort of cover for the base. So if I show you on the finished one, I glued it down, and then I literally got a pencil um, or a paintbrush end and waggled in like that and then that one is a lot neater than the horror underneath of you sort of just stabbing in with a craft knife. Makes a lot neater and uh, that's your money box as I say you can access the money at the bottom pulling it out. Really nice idea for kids. Pop your money in. There it is. Start your savings. If you wanted something a little bit more adult let me just flip this out the way and show you a tea caddy that I made literally by just sealing off areas a little bit of a side. Keep your tea bags in there. Give it a go.